Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Bernoon here with Israeli News Live. And uh, we are finding out from inside information there that China has contacted President Biden today, as you'll be able to see here by Yahoo News. Uh, and interestingly enough, I want you to really pay attention to what the Yahoo News is saying here. Biden says he and China, she agreed to abide by Taiwan agreement. Now, I highlighted here in yellow, Biden appeared to be referring to Washington's longstanding one China policy under which it officially recognizes Beijing rather than Taipei and the Taiwan Relations, Relations Act, which makes clear that the U.S. decision to establish diplomatic ties with Beijing instead of Taiwan rest upon the expectation that the future of Taiwan will be determined by peaceful means. Well, as it was disclosed to me today, uh, China contacted Biden, let him know under no circumstances is the U.S. to get in the way at all that China is going to take over Taiwan and it will be done this Christmas to New Year's, right in that time frame is when they're going to take over. It is believed to be that China can do this without an invasion. And of course, immediately once the president had been contacted by Xi Jinping, he immediately went to the um, Joint Chiefs of Staff, requested of them what could be done, if anything, to stop it. There's a computer simulation program that the Joint Chiefs are able to run all the different scenarios that could possibly be done. And in every case that was ran, we do not come out the victor. Once that information was related back to President Biden, he then cowered down and said, we will do nothing, we will stand down. And you would think after the debacle over in Afghanistan that we would have learned something from that mess, leaving your military equipment behind, but I guess we're not going to learn anything because I actually asked about our nuclear weapons. From what I'm being told, even our nukes will be left behind. I guess we're going to really fatten up China, give them plenty of weapons for the future. And then I also discovered that not only will we stand down, but China intends on pushing the U.S. military presence completely out of the Pacific region, from Japan all the way down to the Philippines. Also, North and South Korea will come completely under the dominance of China, South Korea, the U.S. will be pushed out of South Korea as well. Communism is spreading over the globe. And now the President of the United States has given in. You know, I shared with you recently that uh, President Trump was planning on running in 2024. And after the latest developments that we were being, that was being disclosed to us today about the Chinese takeover of Taiwan, I was also told that Trump, they will do something during the Biden administration to make sure that he does not make it into a 2024 presidency. This is something the elite have been saying all along, but uh, the other day it looked like that Trump may very well get an opportunity to get back in power. Those hopes will be dashed. Now, one thing I also found that was very fascinating about the timing of China and Christmas to New Year's was the fact that there is a risk of the United States being under a severe, um, what we might say, natural disaster from asteroids that are coming in. And I asked about that again. What about the asteroids in November, the one that would hit off near Puerto Rico as well as the subsubduction zone? And as of yet, we still have not been able to break these up. And it is anticipated that they still will come in heavy, as it were. And yes, that would cause a tremendous damage to the United States. And already Biden has made an agreement with China 
to come in as humanitarian aid if there's any type of natural disaster. In fact, I was told that we've had two of our buoys for tsunamis go off just recently. And that also the situation with La Palma, there's still a very strong belief that La Palma may very well create a tsunami that will affect our east coast. You know, I told you about the asteroids that we can anticipate here in uh, October. Already, I wanted to share some of the video footage that's been sent to me, different, uh, and you guys may already be familiar with this, different asteroids that have been coming in. There's your one right there on the screen there, the bottom right there, that came in right there. Back it up so you can see it again. Right there as it comes in over the top of that house there. Let's just run it again. There it is. Uh, another one that was caught on camera here. This one caught on camera. Burst of light meteor can be seen for miles in Colorado. Really illuminated our bedroom. And we both sat right up in bed and went, what in the heck was that? <laughs> it was, in fact, a meteor. Here we go. Whoop. Hang on. Vincent and her husband were sound asleep in their home in Black Hawk, Colorado, running outside for answers. This one looked like it, it didn't make it all the way to the ground. So it probably uh, was destroyed in the collision with just the atmosphere. Grant Den, an astronomer with MSU, says this meteor was likely quite small, no bigger than the size of your head, but it was so bright due to the sheer speed the rock was falling. They're moving so fast compared to the Earth. So the Earth is moving 30 kilometers a second, and this rock is moving 30 kilometers a second. Uh, there you go. That was that one there. Then we have this one here. Uh, I'm not sure where this one was. Meteorite lights up the night sky over Estes Park. Now, keep in mind, as I share these uh, with you here, I was told that the Achilles heel for the meteorites for October is actually near the equator. Uh, there it was up there on the top of your screen. Well, that was a bright one right there, wasn't it? Um, and lit up for quite a long time. So uh, that's, that's just some of the ones that people have sent me over on Twitter. I really appreciate that. Uh, if you happen to get any video recordings, things like that, please share them with me. I know it's supposed to be late October before they really see these. And another thing, too, I want to share with you real quick about that. There is going to be a disclosure that we are actively working on, or the nations are coming together to try to destroy meteorites, asteroids, incoming asteroids. That is about to be made public. And the reason they're going to make that public is because they know that what's coming at the end of this year is going to be quite impressive, we might say, enough to scare the you-know-what out of you, as I was told, that if they don't do some kind of disclosure, the public is going to demand answers of why are we not doing something to prevent what's happening here on planet Earth. So that disclosure is coming from what I was told on that. I wanted to kind of give you that little update as well. Again, the most important news tonight, though, that we're dealing with is China is going to take Taiwan. Uh, they will take it. They believe they can do it. They believe that they can get Taiwan to surrender. Uh, Biden has already surrendered. And from what I was told that Biden said after China takes over, then we'll try to get with the other nations to see if we can change, uh, push China back out. But I was told that will never happen because China already has so many bought out nations, so many politicians bought out globally that this is only just the beginning. Again, as I said, the Pacific, we will, the United States will be pushed militarily out of the Pacific and then China will turn their attention to the Middle East and try to also to push us out of the Middle East. In fact, I also ask, because I know there is a lot of news going on right now about uh, the uh, Mossad operations, intelligence operations that are going on throughout the Middle East and, uh, and Iran's threat to take all those Israeli intelligence operations out of the Middle East. And I was asking about when would that take place. And uh, I was told that that actually will begin after China has actually pulled off their takeover of the Pacific Fleet, and then China will actually help Iran with those Middle Eastern 
uh, Mossad intelligence groups there and remove those as well. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Hate to be the bearer of bad news, but uh, listen, things are changing rapidly. Also, I'll be sharing some more intel over there on uh, our Israeli News Live Patreon channel. I'll put a link in the description below for you. Uh, we're going to be talking about Atlantis uh, coming up, why that plays a critical role, Nimrod, all kinds of crazy things that are happening there. want to be able to share some of that with you there. I think you'll find that fascinating. So hopefully in the next day or so, we'll be loading another video. Just did the one on AI uh, technology and the demonic possession of AI. I'm Steve Benoon. You're listening to Israeli News Live. Have a great evening.